Hi, and welcome to Travels with Phil. I'm Phil Constantine, and on this episode, we are in New York City. Pardon my throat, I have a bit of a cold. We're going to be visiting the Museum of Modern Art, or MoMA, as the uh, locals like to call it. And it has a wide variety of very famous uh, paintings inside there. Let's look at one of the controversial ones first. Travels with Phil continues in the Museum of Modern Art. All right, there you go. This is the one everybody's heard about. The tin cans of soup. Camel Soup by Andy Warhol. Oddly enough, it's right by the uh, cafe. <laughs> so you see what you like out here? It looks like a menu. But this is the uh, Museum of Modern Art. And again, more than life-size cans. Those are bigger than a size 10. Size 10 can. They use them industrially in their restaurants. Oh, cheddar cheese was my favorite type of soup. Other uh, photos are other photos I've taken of uh, artwork in here. This is the famous Marilyn Monroe by Andy Warhol. Now, he did multiple versions of this with different colors in there. And uh, some people say, well, maybe he's an artist, maybe he's not. Oh, well, I'm not going to argue that here. Dada was a movement. It's amazing how many different movements they go through here with different types of art. Uh, it's surprising that a lot of the art in here is called modern art, even though it comes from about 1915 through about 1925. The example of this one is 1912, and that's an example of modern art. Now, this is a demonstration, or shall we say, a presentation, exhibition of uh, designs and shapes with cardboard. And uh, some people say, that's not art. Other people say, oh, perfect example of art, or live art and performance. So looking around, uh, you can see uh, some of the more uh, realistic, more modern, modern, as in modern times art. And then you can see some of the older ones. Uh, this is a large poster up there. They actually have a 1945 helicopter on display as a piece of art, even though it was a functional helicopter. Now, this is sand with glass in it, so you can see different shapes and uh, patterns in it by uh, Laddie John Dill from 1969. And this shows you that the MoMA is right in the middle of New York City, just at uh, the south end of um, uh, Central Park. Um, old Jaguar there is a design, artistic work. And some of the artwork is flat painting. Some of it is three-dimensional, as you can see here. Now, this is Richard Hamilton's work oil, cellulose, and collage. So it comes out, it's three-dimensional, so you get some real shape to it. The like Museum of Modern Art, this is the one that seems to draw the most attention. Starry Night by Vince Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah, Picasso's on the other side. It's a hopping joint. <laughs> yes, a lot of people were uh, trying to see this picture here, and it's very, very famous. Probably the most famous uh, artwork piece they have in there, although everyone has their own favorites. Just because it's uh, most famous doesn't mean it's uh, the one that's liked the best, and some people go vice versa on that. So art is in the mind and the eye of the beholder. Some more Van Gogh here, and uh, there you go, another painting by Van Gogh and uh, Jasper Johns now he was uh, d did this in 1962 63 uh, similar situation here a little bit uh, earlier there and uh, then a painting of the American flag actually my daughter has that on a, a wood and uh, so see there you go this is something that's uh, not old modern art <laughs> Andrew Wyeth, uh, this was uh, made sometime around uh, 1948. The lady in the picture actually had polio. Uh, she wasn't laying on the ground just because uh, she was uh, trying to pose. And uh, so they have a fair amount of that. Paul Gauguin, and this is a washerwoman from 1888, Saison. Uh, he has several pieces uh, in this museum. He has several pieces in uh, multiple museums, as does as, uh, Gauguin and uh, Van Gogh. And another Saison here. He has interesting uh, shades of colors in his work. James Ensor. And uh, that's 1887. And that almost looks like some of the modern art that's uh, classified by this piece here, which is 1914. Very interesting piece there. You could make all kinds of uh, shapes in your mind looking at this one. And then uh, Umberto from 1910. 
and uh, this one is from uh, 1912 I believe so Henry Matisse early 1900s as well so modern art isn't too modern 1912 Gustav Klimt he has uh, several pieces there this is called Hope 2 1907-ish and Chagall so all of these folks these are the old masters who probably wouldn't have liked to have thought of themselves as old masters necessarily they might appreciate the respect lots of Pablo Picasso various uh, aspects of his life he changed his style several times Diego Rivera famous uh, muralist also did some uh, cubism and uh, lots of different styles out here again Picasso varying things he went through a realistic painting to a blue period then he went more back to the cubism which was a different style and there you go that is distinct as far as a form of art is concerned all kinds of terms you hear in art uh, neo-impressionist postmodern all kinds of things this is some of the detail work in here how they get those shades is very interesting to me and uh, I've doodled it a little bit in artwork and uh, realizing that yes indeed they make it look easy Pontalism by Georges Pierre Sarrat and some more by Gauguin his uh, Polynesian period when he was living in French Polynesia this is from upstairs they have a lot of open space here so they can do large uh, presentations and some of these pieces are extremely large as you can see by here this is a Jackson Pollock I think this was from the 60s and uh, some people say it's just spattering. Some people say it's, you know, uh, non-graphism. All kinds of terminology you can use to describe this. You either like it or you don't. And there's some detail of the work that he did. And now this guy sort of copied or did a similar work to uh, Salvador Dali. And this is Salvador Dali's perhaps his most uh, famous work, The Persistence Memory. I was really surprised how small this painting actually was. That's some fine detail work. For a, a painting that is just so small. And then some Miro. Interesting shapes and designs there. Now that's actually pretty big. Reverse thing. It looks like it's small. You'll just look at the photo. And Max Ernst. He was known for this style of painting that you see there. Interesting shapes. Surrealist. And uh, this is the guy that also did the man wearing the hat and an apple. And these are Monet's water lilies. And uh, he, he was well known for painting water lilies. He had some in his house. You'll see some of this in a, in a bit. But this entire wall is a painting. And I'll show you a video. So Phil continues in the Museum of Modern Art. This is the water lilies from 1914 to 26 by Claude Monet. This is very, very long. There you go. Covers the entire wall. It gives you some perspective. Not pastels, but the colors are almost pastel. Covers an entire wall. And probably over 40, 50 feet of them, I would suspect. Here's another set. And just on the opposite wall is a slightly smaller over the same period of time. Slightly smaller is a relative term. So if you like Claude Monet and the water lilies, the MoMA is for you. And some detail work there. Impressionism is one of the phrases you've, you'll hear for this, varying ones. And then this is an actual uh, silent movie that shows you how long ago it was. 1915 sound had still not come to movies at that point. And this is with his inspiration. He did live in a beautiful garden in France. I think it was Givenchy. Uh, Givenchy, I'm not very good at pronouncing French words, and or pronouncing French words, either one. But this is him actually doing some of the work on the water lilies from the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.